Hi crafty friends, Mary here. I'm back with another card for uh, Snowman of January. I'm working with, where's the stamp that I'm working with? It is this stamp um, from High Hopes Rubber Stamp. It's a cute little mitten with uh, three snowmen inside of it. It's definitely a Christmas stamp, but I um, try to make it less Christmassy. I s colored it with um, purples and uh, blue, light blue, and then the um, light bulbs. I colored it with the lightest purple and a pink. Um, the candy cane, I went with the red, but um, I think it's fine. And then I did red on part of the hats. I did the hats with gray, um, purple on the hat of one of the snowmen, um, pink on the berries and green on here. And then I um, went around the whole thing with um, my Distress Ink with uh, Tumble Glass Distress Ink. Um, and my cutout is... I believe it's the biggest of the, um, oh, I can't remember what these are called, half circles or something like that from MFT. So I colored this in, um, and uh, I have a top folding um, A2 card here, and I'm going to assemble. I have all the parts ready to assemble my card. I die cut a piece of polka dot, blue polka dot, with um, a stitch. I have all my most used dies here, um, so I'm using this one. Now, I think this is pretty pink posh. Or it could be, oh, I'm not sure, because it's it's old. It's like 10 years old. Um, my go-to for A2 cars are, uh, let's see, where's the other one? I have two. One that cuts straight. I just had it in front of me. This one. This one is, no, this one is cat scrappiness. And it's, it actually cuts and does the stitching mark for a full size A2 card. So this would go right across the A2. The, this one, which is um, the little holes, it does the little holes. I don't know if you can see that. Um, um, is slightly, it's a, it leaves a little border around an eighth of an inch or maybe even a quarter of an inch around. No, not a quarter, I would say an eighth of an inch. But this one came in a set with another die, with a couple of other dies. So that's why, it's, this is definitely not MFT. I will look for the packaging and put it in the description because it's actually a, a pretty good set, but I can't remember off the top of my head who makes it. So this is gonna be my layer here. I think I'm gonna go with it on an angle. And then I have this um, stamp, or not stamp, die, that is really more of a European size. Um, it's from uh, Created Obsessions, and it's, um, um, it's the bigger of the two dies. Where's the actual die? I just had it here. I'm losing things really quick on my desk. And my desk is actually clean for a change. Here it is. Here's the die. Here's my hand. So it measures, let's see, well, it's in centimeters. So let's just get our trusty ruler out. It measures from the, it measures five and a half from the tip of the snowflake to the other tip of the snowflake to by three and three and three quarters. Yeah, three and three quarters. So um, definitely not a, you know, a, more of a European size. Um, so, and it does not cut the middle. It 
gives a tiny stitch marks around the middle, which is really nice. If you want to cut the middle, it comes with this inner die. This inner die right here that you could position to cut the middle. And then you would get the stitch mark and then you would position the in this little this this window die and you would cut the middle. So I'm gonna put that here. So let's put some adhesive on the back of these. Yeah, I had already stamped something on the inside of that. And before I do this, I'm going to leave because I want to position this. So I'm going to put this against the edge of the card, a little higher up, like that. So I'm going to put that there and then put that down. And then this, I want to leave it up a little bit so that I could put some ribbon under here. And what I did with the rib my ribbon, I didn't have any purple ribbon. I usually, I don't use ribbon that often, so I, I don't buy. Now. Let me rephrase that. I have a ton of ribbon, a ton of ribbon, um, because it's pretty and I get um, buyer's craziness and I buy it, but I don't use it because I don't use ribbon on my cards. But for some reason, I still buy it. Um, so, but so it just sits in a bucket and it never gets used. Um, a lot of it, but it's thicker ribbon. It's wider ribbon for um, for wrapping presents and stuff. So when I buy thin ribbon, it tends to be um, white ribbon, and then I use my uh, alcohol markers or my inks to color my ribbon. And this ribbon came as a thank you gift, as a thank you in one of my orders, Elaine. So I buy Elaine Hudson. So I'm glad it was white because I was able to color it. So um, that's about it. Just always be frugal. So I am going to fold it and put some adhesive. And for this, I am going to use, I think, a little bit of glue, I think. Let's see if that works. I know Anna likes her hot glue, but I don't have my hot glue gun um, set up on my, in my hair to work. I'm gonna stick it underneath this layer. I just want a dash. Oh, come on, get in there. I want to do that. No, I want to do it straight. Like that, I think. I'm not sure. Maybe on an angle like that. You see, I don't use ribbon that much. Let's move it up a little. Yeah. 
And I can lower this because I had adhesive on it. And then there, I'm going to do something. Let's see. Clean off my um, the tip of my glue. I, what do I have? What did I get? Yes. I could go with the. I could go with a star. I have some buttons, but they're not easily accessible because they're buried over on the other side of the room. What can I do with that? Where are my buttons? I don't remember what I did with all my buttons. I know that I did something. Oh, here they are. Huh. These are Christmas. These are Christmas. Red and green. Those are uh, not buttons, but they're... Uh, These are, um, what do you call, uh, not eyelets, um, what do you call the ones with the whole, with the little things inside of them? Brads. Those are brads. These are more brads. More brads. More brads. More brads. These are all brads in this, in this one. This is another one. Are these jars really cool? This is more stamping up, and these are more brads from stamping up. So these are all brads. Let's put these away. I think I know where the buttons are now. I, like I said, I don't use buttons on my projects that much, but I want. I, I want. I'll be right back. I know where they are. These are not all my buttons, but there are some of my buttons. And I wanted to get something that has a, um, like a, a pearl finish. I don't know if I'm going to find anything like that right now. really big and gold. I don't know if I want gold. I had bought these for a project. I did um, ribbons for a uh, Christmas uh, gift wrapping project and I hot glued some of these buttons to the middle of the ribbon. It came out really cool. So I have these leftovers. But they're too big for the card. I need something small. Well, 
Well, I can't find a button that's uh, going to work out for me right now in this mess. I have more buttons someplace else that I think would work out better. But so I'm going to leave that like that for right now. Um. But this is pretty much my card. I'm going to leave the sentiment off because I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for. The card for. It may be for Christmas next year. It may be for, um, it, I may just go with uh, warm winter greetings on the inside and send it to uh, my sister-in-law. Um, but I'm going to put something right there to hide the end of the ribbon. And that way I have brought the purple from the colored image over onto the side. Um, that's it. I think we need a little bit more adhesive over on here. So maybe I'll just use this and stick a little bit more adhesive in here. That's it. That's my card. I like how it came out. I like how soft it is. Soft and it is. So um, I wish I had uh, done the red in a different color. I would have gone with purple and just continued the purple and the blue. But uh, overall, I don't think it really did, did, um, draws attention to itself. So I think I'm happy with how it came out. Um, um, that's it. I will um, take a snapshot of it probably tomorrow morning when the light is better and um, you'll see what I end up putting over here. And uh, until next time, thanks. Take care.